So we have a long line, we know how to use it, we have our dog checking in, and now we need to start building that nice reliable recall so that when our dog is 20 feet away on the end of the long line, we can get them back to our sides and allow someone else to pass safely with a little bit of space. I'm Chelsea with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to add a recall to that nice attention that we've already started capturing. This is a wonderful way that we can still go out on lead with our dogs and let them explore with a long line, but still get them back for emergencies. Let's take a look. The first thing that we wanna do is choose an environment carefully. I select an area of a parking lot that's quiet without any nearby traffic or activity. Pavement is also great because this way, there's a little bit less for my dog to sniff and get distracted with. This makes it easier for my dog to be successful and gives me more opportunities to reinforce the behavior that I do want, which is attention. I like to start by standing still and quiet. I'm not talking to my dog, I'm not begging them for attention. I wait until they're in a place where they're able to. When he offers attention, I click to capture it, and then I toss my treat down on the ground. After attention gets easy and it's reliable, I begin to reinforce attention with a hand target recall instead of a click and treat. So my dog gives me eye contact, and the second I get it, I drop my hand down and say, here, when his nose touches my hand, I click and drop the treat on the ground. This way, he's offering two behaviors to earn that reinforcement, a check-in all on his own, and then the hand target. I strategically drop the treat on the ground in order to increase a little distance from me to set me up for another repetition of calling him back to me. I also practice this exercise with cued attention instead of offered attention, but I always like to do my warm up without any cues. It's a nice way to check to see if the dog is ready and able to work in a particular environment. As the dog does well, I start to add a little bit more length of my line out releasing one loop at a time with success. If you notice that your dog begins to get distracted or has trouble at a further distance, no worries, just wind a loop back up and decrease that distance between you and your dog to make it easier for them for a few repetitions. When you're first starting, be sure to keep your training session short, two to three minutes at a time of practice with a nice sniffing and pee break in between is a great way to keep your dog motivated, keep them focused, and allow them a little mental break to recharge them for another session. After several successful sessions, you can slowly start to move closer to the distraction. I set up my first few sessions where it's very easy for the dog to be successful. Pavement, very far away from things that are exciting to sniff. But we wanna start getting closer and closer to nature so that the dog learns how to pay attention even when there are fun things to explore. So we can start to work closer to a curb. I'm still far enough away here that she can't reach the grass, but this gives me an opportunity to just slightly increase the distraction level. With the temptation so close, it makes it even harder for her to check in with me and come back and touch my hand. This is a nice way to slowly increase that distraction level before we allow them the ability to completely sniff and have to call them away from it. And just like before, I keep sessions short and allow her the opportunity to sniff and explore her environment as a break from training. The next step is to begin to work on attention and coming when called out of sniffing and exploring. This is the hardest part for them because we need a little bit of history of reinforcement. The behavior of attention on cue and coming when called have to be reinforced strongly in order for the dog to choose to do that instead of sniffing. So make sure that you spend your time working strong on the foundations before you expect your dog to be able to do this. And now with the ability to ask for attention and get a recall from your dog, you're ready to use that long line and go out on some adventures. But there are some things we need to be mindful of as we're heading out. So here are a few tips. Since you're still figuring out how to use your long line and your dog is still new to using one, I recommend that you pick low distraction environments to get started. Quieter parks, wide open spaces provide an easy terrain for you and your dog to navigate. I also recommend that you choose places without a lot of trees. While you can increase your experience level and get to those nice wooded areas, sometimes navigating trees with a long line can provide some extra challenges. For safety, we only want to connect these long lines to a body harness. While we are doing our best to keep the line folded up and in our hand, 
there could be the option where our dog runs to the end and reaches it. And this is a lot safer for our dogs on a body harness than attached to any kind of collar. Remember that with increased freedom and more things to explore comes a lot more distraction. So make sure that you combat that by using your highest value treat. Larger pieces tend to be found easier, stinkier treats can be found with your dog's nose, and remember that dogs see contrast well. So think about the environment that you might be going and try to pick something that's gonna stand out. And last, but certainly not least, remember to be realistic about your expectations. How much time have you really spent building attention and recall with distractions? Have you practiced in an environment similar to this where you can expect your dog to come when called? If not, remember that we always want to avoid using our cue. If we use our cue and our dog doesn't do the behavior, then we're undoing all of this hard work that we've put in. So while you're using the long line, remember that you can capture good behavior. If your dog checks in on their own, you can click and toss them a treat. Offer lots of praise for loose leash. And if they offer attention on their own, be sure to use that to your advantage and ask for a recall. We want to make sure that we are reinforcing these behaviors frequently and consistently. And remember that we wanna make sure that our dog can be successful. So if you think your dog might not be able to respond, go ahead and save yourself the trouble. Use that long line to wind yourself back up to your dog. That is in fact why we have that long line on for safety, just in case we can't get a cute response. It keeps everybody safe and allows them to have fun. Yes, good boy.